Good morning. Hi there. Welcome back to Monday Morning Mojo. I am so excited to be with you guys this morning. And uh, I am excited to get connected to our friends on Facebook too, which I'm doing as we speak. So um, welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend. And we're just going to jump in and get started this morning. And what I wanted to talk to you today is about mindset. And I uh, want to give you a couple things to think about and an opportunity for you to uh, probably take some notes and then reflect on this later. So I'm going to uh, jump in and give you some. So it's funny, I work with a coach who is amazing. And um, I have several coaches, by the way, which, um, you know, many of you know, I am a coach. I'm a certified life coach and business coach. And yet I crave uh, personal growth and development, just like everybody else. And so I work with several coaches who help me. And so one of my coaches, Kevin, has um, said this to me. He says, you have Anna-isms, which I think is adorable. And uh, so I'm going to share a couple of Anna-isms with you this morning. And basically all it is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, it, it's just it's just an opportunity for you to put some uh, thoughts in motion based on, um, you know, these these phrases or ideas that I'm going to share with you this morning. Um, one of my um, Anna isms, I guess, is the way you start your day is the way you spend your day. And um, I think this is really important, which is, uh, again, why I was intentional about creating this platform on a Monday morning and yes, doing it early at 730 um, because it creates a flow for your day, right? And the way that you start your day tends to be the way that you spend your day, which means if you're going to start your day in a very frenzied, quick paced, uh, feeling like you're still, you know, behind or catching up, you, you're going to feel like that all day. And basically what that does is create a lot of anxiety. And so the anxiety, you have to excuse me this morning. Wow. That's anxiety. <laughs> All right. So the anxiety is going to come from feeling like you're hurried and rushed and just, you know, moving through the day at this crazy pace. Um, and, and if you start your day, with the snooze button and you start your day not sure what you're going to wear and how you're going to get out the door or what you have to do to take care of the family or the dog, um, it, it is going to show up throughout your day. So own the, own the morning and you're going to win the day. Own the morning and you're going to win the day. So what is in your morning routine? So this is a great question for you to ask yourselves. Now, each morning may look a little different, you know, like for instance, Monday morning, I get up, uh, well, I get up early every day, but I get up and I, and I, you know, really do what I have to do to get to the office or wherever I'm going to do mojo so that I'm ready for you at 730. Um, so I'm, I may have a different morning routine throughout the week. Um, this week I'm intentional about getting exercise into my routine at least three times a, a week, right? So I'm going to challenge you to think about that today. What is in your morning routine? How do you spend the first hour of your day? And I think that, um, the, the things that you choose to focus on in the first hour of your day can really set the tone for the rest of the day. So um, if, if you're going to own the morning and seize the day, you're going to see greater results. All right. So that's one thing I would ask you to work on today. Um, the other thing that I'm going to uh, share with you this morning is around leadership. I talk a lot about leadership in my role here at Keller Williams. I talk a lot about leadership in my coaching. And um, I think that leadership is not a title. It's not a job. It's just a lifestyle. And so are you showing up as a leader? Are you showing up as a leader in your career in your community, with your family, in your connections? And, and what, what does that look like? And how could the world really benefit from your leadership? 
And I think, again, if you understand that leadership is not about a title, we're all, we all have the potential for, for um, showing our leadership. And as John Maxwell says, leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing, nothing less. So how can you impact someone? How can you show your leadership, even in, in, in terms of self-leadership, right? In terms of how you lead yourself, the habits that you focus on, the habits that you develop or, or remove from your routine, right? How you lead yourself is a great indication of your ability to lead other people. And so uh, that's one of my other thoughts for you this morning on my list of Anna-isms. Um, the other thing that I'll say uh, is I believe that growth, growth solves all your problems. So if you are focused on your own personal development, the ways in which you grow, the things that you become intentional about for your own growth are going to create opportunity for you, which in turn will solve problems, eliminate problems, um, and open doors for you. And if you look within your business, within your company, your career, the ways in which you're focused on growth is also going to solve lots of problems for you. It's also going to create opportunities. It's going to eliminate challenges. So growth is something that must be intentional. And uh, it's not something that is going to happen on its own accidentally. So if you want to focus on this area this morning, what is one way you can create some growth? Uh, one of the things I suggest is that every year you create a growth plan. Every year you focus on one or two things that you want to do each month that will help you grow as a person, that will help you grow in terms of your skill set, that will help you learn new things that will make you more um, uh, effective in, in what you do, more valuable to your organization, more valuable to other people. Um, and it, there's so if you didn't do that in the beginning of the year, that's fine. Let's get started right now. Let's create a growth plan. What, what can you focus on uh, for the next seven months, right? What we have left of the year that will really help you and move the needle. Because when you look at the opportunity that growth creates, right? That growth brings change. Growth brings new knowledge. It brings uh, sharpened skill sets. And as I said before, it's going to start to take care of problems. It's going to start to create opportunities for you. So you can really move forward in some big ways if you become intentional about ways that you want to grow. And so on your growth plan, you may have some classes you want to take or books you want to read or um, experiences you want to have or or you know, podcasts you want to start or podcasts you want to listen to, right? So some way in which you're going to start to grow and start to research and learn and, and just capture new information and open your perception up to new mindset. So uh, where is your attention being placed right now for growth? Okay, so the other thing I want to share with you this morning um, is that when you are doing all of the above, when you're doing all of the above, it leaves less time for you to start to worry about what's going wrong because what we focus on expands. So that's another, um, it's not really my particular phrase. I, I can't say I created it or own it, but I definitely believe it to be true. So I'm going to put it in the list of Anna-isms this morning. Uh, but what you focus on expands. So in other words, wherever your attention goes is where you're going to Put a lot of energy. And so if your energy and your attention are really being placed on opportunities and growth and possibilities and innovation and new ideas, that's awesome. And you're going to create some amazing things because of it. And if your attention starts to really sit and your focus expands on the things that are not going well or the things that are challenging you or some negativity or uh, things that um, you know, you're complaining about and tolerating, well, then all that energy is going to sit there. And unfortunately, when our energy sits in a negative place or, or is centered around complaining, it just kind of whirls around like a washing machine and it doesn't go anywhere. And so that can start to 
expand our feelings of anxiety, our feelings of negativity, our feelings of pessimism, you know, procrastination, right? And so remember what we focus on expands. So where can you move your energy and your focus starting today that is in a much more positive, much more optimistic, much more progressive way that is going to actually help you move forward rather than backwards or staying still, okay? So uh, I think that we have to just be aware that our mind, you know, is going where we can, we can control our mind and where we place that energy is going to make all the difference in the world, right? Another Anna-ism I want to share with you this morning, another truth I hold on to. And uh, those of you who work with me or spend time with me know you've heard me say this before too. Uh, and that is the way you do anything is the way you do everything. The way you do anything is the way you do everything because we are habitual. And so we create these patterns in our behavior. And so if you are... I'll just use a simple example. If you're running late to something, you're going to run late to a lot of things or maybe everything. And so I think it's about the awareness we have to place on the habits. So I'm talking about habits again. And are those habits supporting us or are they really, you know, creating other um, obstacles, other issues, other challenges. And so the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So the way I see people show up sometimes in um, group settings, you know, I wonder how does that show up in other, in other places? Not judging, not creating any kind of fixed mindset around it, just observing. And so I'm going to challenge you to observe your own behavior maybe for today, right? Just observe your own behavior and ask yourself, is the way I do anything, is the way I do anything is the way I do everything. So that's another anaism uh, that I guess I would share with you too. Um, okay, last one for today. Who knows, I might do this again. <laughs> These are just some of the things that uh, I hold as truths and, um, you know, an opportunity to share some stuff with you so that uh, you have an opportunity to reflect on that. And I'd love to hear which one of these resonated with you. And uh, if, if any of these um, are, are showing up in your life right now, let me know. I'd love to hear from you on that. Okay, so here is another Anna-ism. Uh, if you are always at the head of the class, you're probably in the wrong class. If you're always at the head of the class, you're probably in the wrong class, which really is saying if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to find a new place to hang out. Because here's the thing, everyone, I, I want us all to feel accomplished and I want us all to feel confident and um, you know feel good about our successes and our growth and our knowledge base. And we should be using those as tools and opportunities to influence, impact other people. And we want to bring value to everything we do, to the organizations we're a part of, the relationships that we're in. All of that is true. And we want to seek out other people who can do the same for us, right? So yes, there are going to be times when you are pouring into other people where you are uh, sharing your knowledge, your influence, and you're, you're um, helping to, or you're creating growth opportunities for other people. And I love that. That makes me feel so fulfilled. And I need to feel that too. I need to seek out knowledge and ideas from other people. And so when I find that I'm not getting that, I'm looking for those opportunities. So I'm looking to go to different meetings and conferences, and it's so great to be out again and doing that. Um, I spend time, uh, you know, seeking out different business relationships or networking opportunities. Um, I, I ask questions of people, right? Because if we don't ask questions, if you take one thing away this morning, it's going to be this. Ask great questions. When you get in front of people um, and you have the opportunity to get into a conversation of any nature, 
ask good questions, ask open-ended questions that, that inspire people to share something with you. I love learning from other people. And I guess I've always been uh, naturally curious about people. So perhaps that, that helps me too. And so that may be a thought, write that down, become naturally curious about people. And you know, the more you ask great questions, the more information is revealed. And so I'm always looking to learn. And so if I'm learning from other people, I can change my, my, perspe my perception, my perspective. I can gather facts and information. Uh, it might challenge my own way of thinking that could reveal so many great things. So I don't want to be the smartest person in the room. I want to be able to learn from others. I want to seek knowledge. So if you're always at the head of the class, you're in the wrong class. <laughs> That's my uh, my final anaism for this morning. So I hope you found some of these um, you know, thought provoking. I hope that you will take one of them and put it into action today. Again, I would love to hear what you have to say about uh, this morning's mojo. So you can put your comments and share that on our Facebook group, on my YouTube channel as well. And uh, if you have some, some thoughts or ideas for future content for uh, Mojo, please let me know. It's always fun coming up with topics for you every Monday. And it's really a joy to do this with you. As I said, it's been two years and it's awesome. So I'm looking forward to continuing uh, the journey with you. And I'm looking forward to having more of of your friends come on and be a part of the group. So if you find value in this, please share this with other people, uh, share our uh, Facebook group and invite them to, to come on. And I'm gonna also encourage some more of you to join me here on Zoom because that can be fun and we'll have the opportunity to really chat a little bit more when you do. Um, so if you um, put some comments on the Facebook page, I'll be sure to answer you there as well. Have an awesome day, make this a powerful week and I will see you very soon and uh, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day.